It's been a long day. My mom has been having heart issues and has been in the hospital. So I've been up at the hospital with her. And um, yeah, it's just been a day. So I walked in and I said, you know what? There's a bottle of wine I opened last week while we were at the lake. I want to have a glass of wine. Now here's the thing about me and wine. I love cake bread. It's my favorite wine. But I'm not like a wino. Like I don't drink all the time. So I have trouble. I don't know if any of y'all have this out there. I have trouble like opening a bottle of wine because I don't drink at all. I drink like one glass and then I might not drink again for a week. Well, if you don't drink white wine, it goes bad. And when you're paying 50 bucks for a bottle of wine, you wouldn't drink it all. Shay wants me to drink it. <laughs> so I said, I don't tell if this wine's good. So I look up online, they said it goes back. One site said three to five days. One said three to seven. It's the seventh day. Does this look brown? It said if it looks brown. Does that look brown? Does that look brown? No. I poured a big glass. I don't normally have this big of a glass because I have to drink it or my 50 bucks is going in the trash. So I guess I had a $50 bottle of wine if this isn't any good. Then another site said if it smells like a wet dog or wet cardboard or nail polish. Does it smell like that? No. None of those. It smells good to me. So... If I'm dead tomorrow, have y'all seen The Princess Bride? You drink, Shay, you drink. Shay poisoned me. So this is a cry for help. I assure you, I did, I did not poison. Y'all, I'm kidding. If you don't know my personality. That's so funny. You know how they keep switching the wine? Yes. If you haven't seen The Princess Bride, it's real funny. So, I'm not I'm not Sicilian. Let's hope this is non-poisonous wine. Because <laughs> I'm gonna drink it. Because Shay doesn't want me to waste fifty dollars. <laughs> okay, that's all I got. All right. Peace. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I was having a little bit of just feeling overwhelmed with I think there's about 36 things on my list. So it was like so jumbled in my mind and I had so much to do. And we have been going so much. I'm so unorganized. Like everything in my life just feels kind of out of control a little bit. So I took a deep breath, started making lists. And let me just tell you, when you feel like you've got so much to do and you don't know like where to even start, so it's just, you don't even want to do anything, because that's how, what I do, is I'll make my big list that is overwhelming me. And then I'm like, okay, what has to happen today? And then I highlight those things and then I move on to another list. Like I just take like an hour to do this. And I just sit down because it's like if I'm reactive and I'm running here and I'm running there and I'm just reacting to whatever's happening around me, then nothing happens. And then I'm like, feel even more stressed that I didn't accomplish what needed to get accomplished for the day. Then it's like, I'm going to bed already stressed out before the next day starts. So what I do is I get the big list. Cause like right now I've got huge, like this week and next week is big. Like I can breathe after that, but what needs to happen today to lead to tomorrow. So I'm break the big list down into, okay, how can I, how can I make all this work? Figuring out my sitters, figuring it because I have a big, huge once a year thing I have to go to next week. So who's taking care of all the dogs? Who's taking care of my house? Who's, I didn't even thought through any of this. What clothes am I wearing? I mean, all these are categories. So I start just putting everything. Oh my gosh, I've got to go buy all the prizes. I haven't done that yet. Who are the winners? So, like, you get all this jumbled on. I need a, I need a conference call with the hotel to make sure we're, we've already done some, but make sure, okay, do you have my diagrams with how I want my stage? And it's a lot. It's a lot, y'all. But I can do it. I do it every year. So, I know I can. But then when my mom got put in the hospital on top of everything else, when I got sick on top of everything else, it's like I couldn't, I couldn't think. And I felt like I could just shut down, like start crying or just 
say, forget it. But I can't say forget it because I'm a leader and I have responsibilities. So how do you do this? How do you do it when you know you've got big goals, you've got to do big things, and you've got so much to do? What I do is take a breath. Say, okay, what can I do? I say, Shay, I need help. I get help where I can get help. But then I start making lists. Make list, make list, make list. Mark it off, mark it off. I was like, okay, talk to the balloon company because I do all the designing for my decor. I'd been talking to them, but they hadn't got back to me with prices of what I'd sent over. I want to make sure I wasn't out of budget. So all of these things are big. So I made that list and then, okay, I've got to talk to the balloon company today. Okay, I've got to talk to um, one of the places that I'm taking 20 people to dinner, Perry's, to make sure we're all set with our set menu. And I, because a lot of times I fill out paperwork and send it in, but then I got to do follow-ups. And it's all those follow-ups. Anything you do, your fortune's in your follow-up. I don't care if you're planning an event or what. But those are things that were high on the priority list today to get them out of my brain for tomorrow. Does that make sense? So that's just a little insight to my world. Your list may not look like my list. That's okay. But that's how you tackle great, like when you've got great, big, huge things going on all around you. That's how you tackle it right there. Make a list. So what is it that y'all want to happen? Go you know, to GameStop is what we want to happen. Yes, I want this game. It's been out for two days. Now, I thought six you days. said Christmas. They aren't very good parents. You, if I they don't asked let us get you this game. to get it. We're not very Can good you? parents. Yep. Oh. So there's no, there's not worth stipulation there's to. There's nothing about buying stuff that has to do with being a good parent. Well, he can does. No. No. All right, right let's go. Mm -hmm. Bye. No, Shug. What? What were you wanting for Christmas? This video game I asked you to buy. But Your teeth are coming in, guess dude. Guess what? I know. They didn't buy Look at them. No, I asked them. They Ooh. don't just buy every request. Well, <laughs> you better. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, look. I think this is the first time they've seen me with my verses. Look. Look yeah, at look. the math, man. You look older. We do. Mm. <laughs> 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 what up, C6 fam? Well, it's July the 7th, and. No, it's not. It's the I mean, night. July the 9th. Sorry, you're right. The 9th. That's what I meant. I don't know why I was thinking. We got married on the 7th. So anyway, so that we're idea. we're celebrating the mama. It's her birthday today. Mm -hmm. She's 26 today. No. <laughs> no, actually, I would be 30 again. Not oh, 26. you would? Okay, excuse me. She's I, she's 30. No, her her 43. <laughs> <laughs> 43. So we're I need 43 uh, kisses. We're meeting the. the Four, I'm expecting 43 kisses. Okay. Today. No. I think, May I, 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 think, I, I think I've only. I think no. there's only been two. No. I, I think only it. two. Well, okay, here's count. one. Here's one. There's an. No, that was not a very good one on my part. Oh, not goodness. your part. So anyway, so we're uh, we're meeting the other the rest of the C6 fam, 
uh, for a little lunch, birthday celebration, and, and then we have a, a surprise for Mama. We do? The last surprise I had was a car. <laughs> it's not that big. So anyways, so, so we're going to eat lunch and then, and then head over and check out her surprise. So, but we'll be videoing. So it's going to be fun. So What's anyways, your surprise? What's well, a surprise? That so, you can't be told Mav because we can't Dad tell Mav anything. Think keep them. Secrets. He likes I, to talk. Wait, I can keep secrets. Uh huh. So anyway, so we're going in here. So anyways, hope everybody's having a great day, great summer. Uh, July seventh was the good day we, though, since you thought it was the seventh. I know. We he love, wanted to get married on seven seven seven. We love you guys. We love you guys. Make sure that you, if you hadn't, subscribe and. Tell, like our video. Like our videos. Comment. And, no, give us a shout out. We need you to share the video on Facebook and say, hey, y'all go watch this family. So, we're going to eat. Peace. Bye. That's what I want for my birth. That's what I want for my birthday. Yeah. Oh, so that's the, yeah, that's what that's you're your asking. gift to me is, is to share your favorite one of our videos. Yeah. Share it. Go, just click on the link, share it on Facebook and say, hey, y'all go watch this family on YouTube. That's my birthday gift. Peace. So we're here. Is this my surprise? <laughs> okay, we're meeting the fan for lunch. Birthday surprise for mom. We're in the Galleria. And. Do you know where we're going? Um, Do you know what the surprise is? Well, I know what the surprise is, but we have to find something. I think, anyways, they, I think the boys need prizes. Well, we don't have time for prizes. If I wasn't born, they wouldn't be born. We didn't have time for prizes. Yes, we so, anyways. Yes, we but stay tuned, peeps. We're, we're here at the destination. <laughs> Get to. I was probably here at Mustang the same time your dad was. How oh, cool. Isn't that fun? That looks fun. That's what yep. we used to do yep. back in the day. It looks fun, There was an El Phoenix down there, too. So cool. Oh, no. This is the mall where I'm going to get. That's a casino. Obviously, she's going to know her surprise. But, so here's the surprise. We're about to walk into her favorite store. Hold on. Mm -hmm. But this is Fancy's favorite store. So I've called ahead to make sure that they have something that she's been wanting for a while. So we're going to have her go into here and pick out the exact ones she wants for her birthday. So that's it. So they match my purse. Don't they look? That's the one she's showing What's the same? Show me. Uh -huh. so, you think I need these? So, they mm -hmm. have the LV on the lens, but... You can't see it when you look at it. We're in the Louis Vuitton store, so we'll tell everybody what you just got. I just got these really cool sunglasses. I picked them out when we were in New York, and she told me no. He does tell me no. I didn't say no. We had just spent a small <laughs> fortune in Louis Vuitton already. Didn't he we? said no, you can't have those. Like, so he surprised me for my birthday. So we just came down to the... So group. now I want to meet more because I've been waiting too much. That's right. See, that's what's so great about waiting sometimes. Why are my teeth yellow? Happy birthday. You have to brush them. I do brush them. <laughs> Boys like me need 
Girls like you to kiss me fishing in the darkness Nitty gritty under that pale moon Sweet tea needs that sugar stirring Small town lights need both ends burning Shades need drawing, hearts need falling Boots need knocking, knocking loose Long weeks need a weekend Cheap drinks need a slinging That dance floor needs some me on you And you on me tonight Sing alongs need to be sung Tent bells need to be rung Lost calls need a call that can And back seats need I want you so bad Yeah, birds need bees And ice needs whiskey Boys like me need girls like you to kiss me fishing in the dark days. Nitty gritty under that pale moon. Sweet tea needs that sugar stirring. Small town lights need both ends burning. Shades need drawing. Hearts need falling. Boots need knocking.